Facebook Live, we have arrived. Hallelujah. One more time. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Um... Christopher, good morning, good morning, Teresa, hallelujah, let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the Early What I Seek These Scripture Study and Prayer Line. On this 22nd day in November 2019, time be flying, don't it, y'all? We be moving right along, huh? Hallelujah. Ah, uh, let's get ready to dive on in the Word. Let's see here. Let's go to First John, y'all. First Yakunan. First Yakunan. Uh, three. Let me see something. JB, JB. Tika's in the building, JB in the building, Mr. Raymond Moore, family member in the building, Derek is in the house. Uh, let's see here, y'all. Um, starting at 11, 1st John 3 and 11, look what it say, Charvet, how you doing, look what it say, y'all, it say, for this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, I want y'all to understand that, right? See, see, people believe that being religious, being a church person or a camp dweller is the proof, the substantiation of one's relationship with the Most High. No. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning that we should love one another. Right there. You can tell if somebody's of Yah because they walk in the spirit of love. And you can tell if someone's of the devil because they don't. They're religious, but they they don't love. They they, they, they don't the, the Ruah has conflict res, resolution skills out of this world. You got you got all these nonprofits open and you know teaching conflict resolution, which is which is I'm not hating at all. Hallelujah, good. But if you want true conflict conflict resolution skills, you need the ruah. You 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 need Yah. Yah is love. Yah is the ruah, and the ruah is love. For this is the message that you've heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of the wicked one. Look at what he said, uh, of the wicked one. Why? And slew his brother. He killed his brother. You, you, it's super simple. It's super simple. Like, if you know people that are professional grudge holders, 
professionals, best at it, get wounded, so they say, get wounded by someone and don't, don't know nothing about forgiveness, don't know nothing about reconciliation, don't know nothing about doing what the words say. Uh, Uncle Harry, how you doing, sir? But, but the word teaches conflict resolution skills, how to reach out in love, how one wants to work it out. Not as Cain, who was of the wicked. Well, he was of the devil. He didn't, he didn't took all he could stand and couldn't stand no more. Cain is the type of person that can identify the straw that broke the camel's back. Because those that are of Yah don't have a straw that breaks the camel's back. Those that are of Yah is always willing to reconcile, always willing to work it out. For this is the message that you've heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of the wicked one, and slew his brother. And, and, and wherefore slew he him? Because his works was evil and his brothers was righteous. Whenever, like... <clears throat> his brother had the proper relationship with the most high and Cain didn't. And because of that, he wanted to kill him. Whenever someone is standing with Yah, standing with the word and someone is religious or, and of the evil one, they can't abide with them. They'll hate them. They'll want to destroy them. They'll come against them. They'll backbite on them. The fellowship will be broken. How could two walk together except they be agreed? Everyone is in Yah agree. He's, he's begging us, Corinthians 1 and 10. He's beseeching us, which means to beg. By, by, by the name of Yahushua, that we all speak the same thing and that there be no division among us, but that we be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment because we bow down to the word. And the word teaches us how to treat one another. All the way down to having disagreements and misunderstanding. There's a way to deal with it. And those of y'all do that. And those that are not of y'all won't. Don't. Period. Can't. Ain't. They faint. Hit the paint. Not as Cain who was of the wicked one and slew his brother. Um, like the, the, the Torah scripture teaches physical New Testament teaches spiritual you can kill your brother by just Xing him off don't want to work it out don't have the Ruah so you can't not as Cain who was of the wicked one and slew his brother and wherefore slew he him? Because, in other words, why did he kill him? Because his works were evil. Because he was evil. And his brothers was righteous. Got to cut you off. Don't want to get in the word. The word will expose. The word will reveal. And people that are the wicked one don't want to be exposed. The word will expose you should be loving. The word will expose you should be forgiving. The word will, will, will expose your reason for being out of fellowship with the body, out of fellowship with truth, out of fellowship with who you have a problem with. We, we, have, to, we have to have love for one another. We, 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 we got, we, there, there is no conflict resolution skills like the Ruah. Just, just love, like the spirit of reconciliation. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. The, the necessity for eternal life is to believe him because he is eternal life. You got to believe the word in order to have it. When man fell away from obeying him and believing him, they were in trouble. So he reached out in love even though they were going, going against him. He didn't take it so personal 
that he didn't reach out for reconciliation. He gave opportunity for the process of reconciliation because he's love. Those that are of the wicked one don't have that. They don't have it. They have religion. They have a form of yalliness, but they deny the power thereof. We got to come on, y'all. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of the wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore, why did he slew him? Why did he kill him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. Don't be shocked when the world hates you. I'm talking about the world that go to church. I'm talking about the world that join the Hebrew camps. <laughs> I'm talking about religious folks. Don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. It's shocking when, when certain ones you believe belong to Yah prove they don't. I'm talking about prove it. I'm talking about prove it. Walk in hatred. Walk in discord. Won't submit, not submissive to the truth of the word. Switch from truth to having a form of yardiness, denying the power to love, to forgive. The whole, did you know salvation is predicated on forgiveness? There's no way in the world we could be saved if the Most High wasn't forgiven us. There is no, there, there's no such thing as uh, our salvation without his forgiveness. And the very mechanism that is generated from him being love is what he gives to us. And we learn to reciprocate, not only towards him. He first loved us, not that we loved him, he first loved us, but we learn to reciprocate. And since we reciprocate, we can participate in the deliverance of love. So when someone come against us, we had the spirit to work it out. We have the spirit to, we have the spirit of love. We have the spirit of compassion. We have the spirit of understanding. We have the spirit of knowing that the bridge that brought us over into salvation is the same bridge that we have for everyone else. When a person is carnal, they don't have that. When they're of the wicked one, they don't have that. You cross me, it's over. You cross me, that's it. Then they turn into the victim as they live in hatred, as they live in, 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 in hatred, in Satanism, in, in stubbornness, in, 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 in witchcraft. That's what the first Samuel reveals you know that that stubbornness is as of the sin of of, of, of witchcraft and 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 and, and idolatry self-worship they worship themselves is this is them and Yah against the world you know they, they they got a Tupac type of a doctrine it's me against the world type of a attitude because because they don't have a rule out of love marvel not 13 verse y'all marvel not my brother if the world hates you, those that don't belong to Yah will hate you, will turn on you. 14 verse. We know that we have passed. Look at this. Oh, we talking here. 14 verse. Look what he said. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brother. You, 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 you want to know if you have a relationship with the Most High or not? You you gonna tell me or is the word gonna tell me? You, you gonna let me tell you, or you gonna let the word tell you? Do you want proof that you belong to the Most High and you're abiding with Him? Look what it say. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brother. You can have a conversation with somebody and see if they have Yah or not, because someone had always got some bickering, some evil to say some grudge, some problem with the people of Yah. I'm not talking about with, with, with those over there at Stubby's Pool Hall. I'm not talking about the dope dealers up the street that they, they, they killed their nephew. I'm talking about they got a problem with the people of Yah. Now we know that we have passed from death Onto life because we love the brother. The brother is talking about those of the household of faith, those that are part of the body of, of the Mashiach, the, the household of Yah. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. And love is an action word, not a feeling. It's how you treat a person. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. 
They can be religious as heck. Having a form of Yah, then they can have a form of it. But if you walk in love, you walk in the spirit of reconciliation. Word tells you exactly what to do if you have a problem with your brother or your sister. Tells you exactly what to do. But folks that are of the wicked one can't do it because they don't have a ruah. They have not passed from death on the life. They're abiding in death. Let them tell it they're abiding in life. Because the, the, there's a deception. There's a deception associated with death. Folks have been blinded. The God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. Believe not what? The word. The word to tell them you got to love. You got to work it out. You got to be the type of person that use the tools that the most high give you to use. Which is love which is the spirit of reconciliation, which is the foundation of your very salvation. You don't know how to reconcile. You, you don't know how to make up. You don't know how to work it out. Oh, they crossed you. You don't play that. Oh, you tried. <laughs> Folks be lying. You tried. Oh, I tried. Quit lying. Try again. Peter, uh, Peter wanted to know uh, the Mashiach, how many times should I forgive my brother? Seven times? He said 70 times seven a day. You tried? We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brother. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Did y'all hear that? This is letting you know the difference between uh, uh, Torah and scriptures. The Tanakh versus the New Testament fulfillment, right? He that hated his brother is a murderer. You're a murderer because you killed your brother in your mind. You have all to get your brother and your sister in your mind. You, you allowed a wall. The Mishiach came and tore down the middle wall partition between, between, between the, the Yahudim and the Gentiles. It's the same thing they did in the Old Testament when the proselytes came. Folks can join the nation of Israel if they would serve Yah, was counted as part of the family if they served Yah, bowed down to the Most High. Same thing today. Israel act like it's something new that Gentiles can be saved. No, they had them in the Old Testament too. Anyway, whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Whosoever hated his brother, those is of the household of faith. You hate them, you're a murderer. And you know that no murderer have eternal life abided in them. You're a murderer. Your, your opinion of the man of Yah, you're a murderer. Your opinion of the woman of Yah, you're a murderer. You murdered them. And, and, and if you had to say so about them, you're going to murder them. You're going to murder their influence over souls they should be ministering to. See, See, people know that we're Yah's disciples because we have one, love one to another. They see a different type of camaraderie, a, a different type of unity. It's, it's an unspeakable unity. When you see ministries full of bickering and, and wicked folks that always cause a strife and division, those folks need to go because because those filled with the Ruah walk in the spirit of reconciliation, the spirit of love, the spirit of, can we all just get along? <laughs> but they're going to do something about it. They, they, they have the greater one living inside of them. They're not running around here hating. They're, they're really vessels of honor trying to see how they can help, how they can be a benefit to the body. You can tell folks that not of Yah, they're selfish. They're into themselves. They come as least as possible. They give as least as possible. They participate as least as possible. They're looking for the bare minimum of their participation with the people of Yah and the things of Yah. They try to figure out how they can live their own life and mind their own business. They don't want the hassle that comes along with dealing with people, the people of Yah. They might want to borrow some money or something. They might need some help or something. They might need a ride. Folks don't want out. I just want to go 
go to church, they say. I just want to go to church and mind my own business. Folks don't know that that's hate. That's, that's you, 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 you're, you, you, you're discluding yourself from the body. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in them. Look at this, 16 verse, y'all. Hereby perceive, look, this is how you perceive we the love of Yah. Because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. This is how we perceive the love of Yah. We perceive his love because he did something. He laid down his life for the brother. He set the standard. There is a standard of, of, of proving that you're saved. 14 verse, I'm trying to tell you something. For we know that we have passed from death on the life because we love the brethren. You know you're saved because you love the brother. What is the measuring stick? The 16th verse. By this, hereby perceive we the love of Yah. Why? How do we perceive that Yah loves us? We run around talking about Yah's love and that he loved us. How? Because he laid his life down for us. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Tenth verse, John uh, 1 and 10. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. That was Yah. Yah is the one that made the world. 1 and 10, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, his own received him not. Right? He came unto Israel. He was born in the body of Israel, the only begotten. Israel is the only begotten. Right? Jacob is the one that chose Yah. That the Mashiach will be born in his flesh. Esau rejected it. So the Messiah was born in the flesh of Jacob. Israel the only begotten. Hereby perceive we the love of Yah. Because he laid his life down for us. It was the word that was made flesh. And dwelt among us. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. The word was Yah. Tenth verse, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, the world knew him not. Fourteenth verse, and the word was made flesh, flesh and dwelt among us. Hereby perceive we the love of Yah, because he laid down his life for us. He was found fashioned as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient on the death, even the death on that struos, on that cross, on that Roman torture state. Hereby perceive we the love of Yah. How do we perceive that he loved us? Because he did something. What did he do? He lived a perfect example. He was found fashioned as a man. He lived a perfect example. He came on our level. He came on our level. Being found fashioned as a man, he lived perfectly how we should do it. Then became that lamb without spot, wrinkle, blemish to die on the tree for you and me, rose again with our power, came back without the body to baptize himself inside of us, to lead and guide us. That's how we know he loved us, because of what he did. And then it went on to say, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Now we need to follow suit. We need to lay our lives down. We, we should be vessels of honor, willing to work it out. Conflict resolution skill. You're not a throwaway. Y'all didn't throw you away. Who the heck am I to throw you away? Y'all not blocking you out of his life. Who the heck am I to block you out of my life? <laughs> Hereby perceive we the love of Yah. Because he laid down his life for us. And we ought to turn around and reciprocate, do the same thing towards him and the brother. Oh, it's the truth anyhow, y'all. <laughs> but whosoever hath this world's goods and seeth his brother have need and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of Yah in him? Like I said, folk, folks want that type of Salvation, the words they mind their own business. 
They don't want they don't they don't want your problem. I got enough problems of my own. See, that's that worldly state of mind. That's that hate. That's not the that's not the uh, spirit of Yah. For he came and got in our business. He came down forty two generations to get in the business of mankind because they were doomed. We won't go across the street up the road for nobody. Come on, somebody. Those that feel with ruah will. Those that have a form of it won't. They're going to mind their business. I can't, mm -mm, I can't afford it. You might, you might need some food or something. I, I just got enough food for myself. You might want to ride or something. Mm -mm, no, I just, me and God against the world. <laughs> no, mm -mm, I don't give out my number. No, I, might, I just go straight on in. I sit in the back by the door. Because as soon as the message is over, I get up and leave. I don't want to know these people. So they can ask me for something, want to get in my business. Mm -mm. Might find out I got an extra car and, and expect me to let somebody use it or something. Whosoever have these world's goods and see his brother have need and shut up his vows of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of Yah uh, in him? Word teaches, oh no man, nothing but love. Give honor to whom honor is due. We, uh, selfish folks definitely is down with supporting the things of the world. But they definitely have a problem, carnal-minded people, have a problem with supporting the things of Yah. Supporting ministry? Nah. They want to travel, though. You know, they, 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 they want to support a Macy's, though. They're getting ready for Christmas, though. That pagan mess. They're getting ready for that. Support the ministry? Please. <laughs> Folks will go in a restaurant, eat, and don't pay. Leave. Like the restaurant owes them that meal. No, they got enough sense when they go in the restaurant. When it comes to things that y'all, they, they eat and gone. Who's going to have these worlds good? So, 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 so. They got four cars, and, and, and a, a woman got a single parent, got three kids, no transportation. They'll keep, please. That's why I don't want to get to know these people, because they're going to expect me to give or do something for them. Who's, but whosoever have this world's goods, you can afford it. It ain't going to even stop you from eating or surviving. You sit up there with all that money in the bank, and people around you is suffering, and you just as comfortable. Oh, that's just for a rainy day. You saving for a rainy day. That's why I don't keep, I, I, I feed folks with a long handled spoon. Whosoever have these world's goods and sees his brother have need and shut up his vows of compassion from him, how dwell at the love of y'all in him? 18 verse, y'all. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. In other words, Quit loving folks verbally with your mouth, talking loud and saying nothing, sounding brass and, and tinkling cymbals, bunch of noise that's void of love. We got a responsibility to the house of prayer, to the people of Yah, to the ministry of the Most High. We've been bought with a price and our life is no longer our own. And this is where the rubber meets the road. When you see people, I'm telling you right now, everyone that truly belong to y'all operate in this, period. And everyone that don't, and everyone that don't belong to y'all don't. That's why the 14th verse say, look, we know that we have passed from death onto life because we love the brother. And loving the brethren is doing everything you're supposed to towards them. It's 1 John 3, uh, the third chapter, uh, uh, Dre, Faith. Three, three, I started at the 11th verse. It's more, you can read the whole thing, but 1 John 3 and 11 is where I started. For this is the message that you've heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. And the obligation of love, see, like, in all you're getting, get understanding, true love is an action word. It is not verbal. Oh, I love you. It's um, being involved. Whenever you're part of a ministry, 
you want souls saved and you want and you want to you, you're participating those look what social media does is enable ones to hear the word and then hang up or hear the word and click off sign off and that's it there, there, there's no participation you have to love the most high for real in order to participate in order to give in order to see who have need you have abundance you're looking for opportunity to be a blessing to the body you're not trying to withdraw so so it's about you and yours that's carnal that's carnality and that's what this is exposing it exposed the proto it exposed by using a prototype like Cain who killed his brother he killed his brother cuz 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 he was evil and his brother was good and that's what wicked people do. They hate good people. That's why I say don't be shocked when the world hates you. The, the world the world love their own. The world, lo pimps love other pimps. You know, game recognized game style. But when you're good, you're a sucker. You, you in the way. Or even the, the true love is you don't shut up your bowels of compassion. True love is, man, if I got it, man, you eating too. If I got it, come on. It's good. When you're wicked, you don't think like that. It's self-preservation here. It's back up off me. It's, man, mind your business. Go find you some business because I got mine. You go get yours. It's, it's, it's self-preservation. That's why the word teaches he to seek to save his life is going to lose it. But he that loses his life for, for, for the word's sake, for the kingdom's sake, for the body's sake, shall find it. Because the Mashiach walked in selflessness. He could have rescued himself, but he was more interested in rescuing us. He said, I would this cup pass for me. And it could have because he didn't, he didn't deserve it. He, nothing he did in life deserved torment or torture or, 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 or torture stake. Nothing he did. And, and, and in fact, he could, they couldn't take his life. He had to lay it down because the devil or death had no rights over him. He had to give it up and he gave it up. For who for the joy that was set before him and the joy that was set before him what was to please Yah and to rescue his brethren so hereby perceive 16 verse y'all hereby perceive we the love of Yah because he laid down his life for us that is the measuring stick that's the standard we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren and lay down our lives for the brother ain't no way in the world I'm supposed to sit up here with a boss money in the bank and somebody around me can't even can't even, uh, uh, don't have transportation or, or, or can't even eat, you know. This methodology, I'm not talking about uh, 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 contributing to delinquency. I'm talking about people that really need, and everybody ain't delinquent. You, you, folks would love to label them, want to say something wrong with them. No, there's something wrong with this system. The, the prince of the power of the air, the devil, is rigged the system for the people of Yah to lose, to come up short. And, and, and through that process, Yah teaches us how to give and to share and to work together as a team. But well, folks don't want to be a team because you might want some eggs from me. You might, you 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 might want a sandwich. You might want a ride. You might need a four or five hundred dollars. And I don't. I I got enough problems on my own. That old carnal state of thinking. Come on, y'all. Whosoever have this world's goods, <coughs> excuse me, and see if his brother have need and shut up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwell at the love of Yah and him? What he's saying is you don't got it. <coughs> Excuse me. No sneezing gonna stop this word, y'all. You don't have it. Come on, y'all. My little children, let us not love in word, in tongue, <coughs> talking. But but let's do it in deed and in truth. Be honest. Be transparent. Be truthful. If you can help, help. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm getting attacked. But not the word. My little children, let us not talk. <coughs> Excuse me. Talk about it. Be about it. Um, and I'm closing. Real talk. I want to close. <coughs> Excuse me. With the 14th verse. This sneezing is not going to stop nothing, y'all. We know that we have passed. Y'all know another way? 
Those of you that hold grudges, you know another way? <coughs> Excuse me. We know that we have passed from death on the life. That's that we were born in sin and shaped iniquity. We were born wrong here. We know that we have passed from death on the life because we love the brother. Did you see what love looked like in, 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 in these scriptures? <coughs> Excuse me. Not worldly. Not worldly love, y'all. Not mind your business type of love. Feeding folks with a long handle spoon type of love. True love seeks out the help. Like the most high sought to rescue us. Down 42 generations. <laughs> Whew. Down 42 generations to seek to save us. To seek those which is lost. Um, I, 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 I prescribe to walk in love, period. Right? Period. Period. That's it. <laughs> Not just verbally. But indeed and in truth. It's the only way to do it, y'all. We got to. And I'm promising you this. I can promise you something. I promise you. Everyone that belongs to Yah lives this and does this. And I also give you another promise. Those that don't belong to Yah got to mind your own business type of attitude. They don't want the hassle. They don't want the responsibility. They don't want the weight. They, they don't want uh-uh. They, they, they rather try to get God on their own and you do you and I do me. And that is not of Yah. Another thing that folks do is the 12th verse. Cain killed his brother. He was of the devil. And how you kill someone, how you kill your brother now is to hate him. Disassociate yourself with them because they did something to you and you don't want to reconcile. You want to lie and pretend like you want to reconcile. You want to lie and pretend like you tried to reconcile. But the truth of the matter is you're bitter. You're unforgiving. And you don't want to work it out. Because you're of the wicked one. Can I talk like that? The word just did. I'm just repeating. Not as Cain, who was of the wicked one, who slew his brother. Killed him. And he killed him because his brother was good and he was evil. He was the problem. You're the problem. Because if you wasn't the problem, you'd be seeking resolution. You, 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 you'd be seeking peace. And you do it openly. Those that are of the devil work in the dark. They don't want to talk. They don't want to get together. They don't want to work. And that's not what they want to do. Because they are the wicked one. Those that are of the light do things in the light openly. Get together and talk about it. Let's work it out. And if I have anything, any way I can help you, I'm down. Why wouldn't I be? The most high was down with me to help me. I'm down to help you. I'll do what I can. Let's all that belong to the most high govern ourselves accordingly. Let's pray. Spirit of the most high, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. How much you know how? Gleaning in the truth of your word, thanking you for illuminating First John uh, 3 and 11 through 18 for your children, uh, that we may govern ourselves according to walking in true love and the responsibility of love. Uh, by this shall all men know that we're your disciples when we have love one to another. They'll see us loving in a way that the world don't know how. Those that are the wicked one hold grudges and hate on one another, don't help one another. It's the spirit of self-preservation, uh, but uh, us that belong to you have perceived your love because you laid down your life for us, and we know we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Uh, continue to strengthen us by your ruah, by the power of your spirit, that we govern ourselves just as this. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, so how we pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. That was the lesson for this morning, this is a sermon that we pray that the word found you and unbound you if you was bound, and that you're free to walk in the, the, the Ruah and divorce the wicked one and be led by the true spirit of love and camaraderie and fellowship in Yah. Is that alright, y'all? If you were blessed by the lesson, feel free to push the share button 
so somebody else can be blessed as well. I'm humbled by anyone that supports this ministry. You help us do what we do, and that's preach the truth unapologetically, too. We're not shying away from truth at all. Um, we don't preach to get the crowd happy and, and, and jumping around in emotion. We preach in a way that will cause one to be saved. When you preach truth, those who don't love truth potentially can be offended, and that's okay. But those of us that love the most high, we want the truth. We don't need that church stuff. Daniel in the lion's den. <laughs> yes, can you say yeah? I'm going with all that. I want to hear all that. I, we need the truth. We, we need the word, and we need to govern ourselves accordingly. And the truth will come and correct you. The truth will give you a haircut. Uh, you'll look better when you come out to shop, though. I'm humbled by those of you that support the ministry, like I was saying. If there's anyone out there that the Most High is leading to be a supporter of this ministry because they believe that it's true and they're growing thereby, I'll tell you how. If you have the cash app, all you got to do is put in 510-209-5818. You also go to Yahuda Israel on Facebook. Go in my messenger. Go in your messenger. And, um, you know, put in Yahuda Israel and you can sow your seed um, that way as as well. Um, yeah, we got PayPal, DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N, -N, 5857 at Yahoo.com, and yeah. Y'all want to talk about the word? It's easy to do. We out of here, y'all. If you want to talk about the word, what you heard today, all you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648, and we can talk about the word. Is that good? Y'all be Baruch, Brock, Shalom, I'm gone.